Hey guys, my name is Devin L. Kurtz. I am an illustrator, a viz dev artist, a background painter, and a background designer. Um, I'm most known for my online presence on websites such as DeviantArt and social media platforms like Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, etc. And then also for uh, my work on Netflix's Disenchantment, where I uh, have been a background painter for almost four years and a lead background painter for one year. Um, in my independent business, the main places that I sell my art are I sell digital products through websites like Gumroad uh, and Patreon, where I sell things like phone wallpapers, desktop wallpapers, tutorials, brushes, things like that. Um, and then I use my own Squarespace website to sell physical items such as prints or pins or books. I also, another big pillar of my business is selling my work at conventions. I will often go to conventions all over the U.S. when it's not a global pandemic, of course. Something that I really love about working in the arts is how many different varied opportunities they are. Um, even just like within what I do, I will freelance uh, from home for projects. I will work in-house at studios on projects, and then I'll also work independently selling both online and in person, so that's kind of four different things that I do. There's so many schools that are non-accredited that you can kind of drop into or out of as you please. Um, I went to a school called Concept Design Academy in Pasadena that you know, rather than being a typical college, classes are just like, you know, four to eight hundred dollars, which is still a lot of money, but compared to a regular school tuition is much more affordable and you just take whatever classes you want to um, with like really minimal or no prerequisites. Um, so that was really cool. And then there's also lots of online school options. Like I took classes with Schoolism, which is kind of the same thing, but rather than being in person somewhere, it's all online. So you can take the classes from anywhere in the world. And there's other websites that do very similar things like uh, CGMA is another one. And I really think it's cool that there's just so many different opportunities for learning. And there's even lots of free or really low cost ones like on YouTube or with websites like Skillshare. The main advice that I would have for anyone who wants to do the kind of things that I do, um, number one is to nurture your love for what you do. If you work in any type of creative field, it's really important to stay inspired and to help yourself stay inspired by taking care of your mind and taking care of your body. You know, working yourself constantly and not taking any breaks is really detrimental. And even if it feels like it's the right move uh, at the time, if you do it over and over again, over long periods of time, it's what can lead to things like burnout and also injuries that can prevent you from doing what you love for the rest of your life. Taking care of your body is, you know, it's a gift to the future. It is gonna be what allows you to keep making art forever. Mm -hmm.